In the heart of OKC's Midtown, the Dust Bowl is in a league of its own. The Funky Lounge is a retro-inspired tribute to the classic bowling alleys from the past. We wanted them to actually feel like they could come in, sit down, and have like a 70s experience. When you step into the Dust Bowl Lanes and Lounge, everything just screams 1970s, from the vintage lanes to the groovy bar with the retro drinks. It's a really cool environment, you know, it, it seems like they, they're kind of like playing on like that older vibe, you know, kind of like retro, it's really cool. The far out lanes are the real deal, salvaged from an old bowling alley. When they closed down, we bought all their lanes and all of their equipment. Josh Rass brought his family into bowl and instantly knew what he liked about it. Kind of the intimacy of it, small lanes, it's kind of a throwback to like the AMC days when I was a kid. Can you tell a difference bowling on that than anything else? I don't think my bowling game is good enough to be able to tell much of a difference. What does make the difference is the decor. It's slamming with tables and chairs made to look old, and you can hang out in the nifty living room in the corner, taking you back to a time when wood paneling was a thing and TVs didn't hang on the wall. The velvet print Elvis is pretty cool. You don't see those very often. We get a lot of comments on, oh my gosh, I have that couch or those picture frames in my grandma's house. Or my grandma still owns that same couch and everyone wants to take pictures on them. I love the retro vibe when I first walked in, like with the couches and all the antiques, it was really cool. Um, and it was just really fun to see everybody having fun. The family-friendly joint turns into a club scene after 8 p.m., only open to those 21 and up. The music's louder, we have disco balls and um, black lights to light up. And the cocktail lounge is ready to serve up some classics. A lot of our theme was based off of the Big Lebowski, actually, so the bowling alley, the white Russians, because they're actually drank in the movie. Uh, the New York Sour is kind of a popular one, and the Rum Runner. And the popular Mrs. Roper peach vodka, lemonade, and tea, so it's kind of like a peach Arnold Palmer. The Mrs. Roper was actually just named after a character, you know, Mrs. Roper from Three's Company. Uh, not everybody catches that reference. As for the food, you can order all day and night off the menu. Hot dogs, hamburgers, um, tater tots. Um, we're known for our sleepover platter, which is a huge picky sheet full of like all your favorite snacks. It's mozzarella sticks, pizza sticks, mini corn dogs, uh, chicken nuggets, french fries, tater tots. There's even a VIP room with two private lanes for birthdays and other special events. We have lots of people that come in here dressed in like retro outfits for parties. Good vibes all around. At the Dust Bowl Lanes and Lounge in Oklahoma City, I'm Deanne Stein for Discover Oklahoma. Here's how to find out more about this great Oklahoma destination. As always, TravelOK.com is your best one-stop shop for information about all Oklahoma has to offer. Please press like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.